welcome to Mammy's Corner, and I'm Mammy. <laughs> that never gets old. Of course I'm Mammy. Who else would I be? Oh my goodness. Silly Mammy, huh? It is time for affirmations. Are you ready to be loud? Are you ready to say these out loud? Let's get started. Ready? I am loved. You can do louder than that. Come on, my littles. Ready? I am loved. Good job. Who loves you? God loves you. Who else loves you? Mammy loves you. And don't you forget it. Next one. Are you ready? I am good. Are you good? Let's say it really loud, my littles. Ready? I am good. Good job. Now for the last one. Really loud. I am kind. Are you kind? Come on, one more time. I am kind. Good job, my because you are good and kind. Now, before we get started, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Remember? That's how you tell Mammy that you love me back, by hitting that thumbs up. So, are you ready for a book? Are you ready for Mammy to read you a story? You are. Are you in your favorite chair? Do you have a favorite blanket or a favorite cuddle buddy? <gasps> or your favorite person that you're cuddling with? So are you ready? Are you ready? All right. So today, Mammy is going to read this. Ah! It's called The Girl Who Loved Wild Horses. Do you like horses? I like horses. Horses are pretty, especially when they're running. Oh, I love watching them run. What about you? What do you like about horses? All right, let's get reading. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you comfortable? Are you ready? Okay, here we go. The Girl Who Loved Wild Horses by Paul, is it Goebel? Hmm. Let's see what's inside. Look at the buffalo. Look at the horses. Woo. Pretty cool, huh? The people were always moving from place to place, following the herds of buffalo. They had many horses to carry the teepees and all their belongings. They trained their fastest horses to hunt the buffalo. That's what they're doing. Wow, look at that. There was a girl in the village who loved horses. She would often get up at daybreak when the birds were singing about the rising sun. She led the horses to drink at the river. She spoke softly, and they followed. People noticed that she understood horses in a special way. She knew which grass they liked best and where to find them shelter for the winter blizzards. If a horse was hurt, she looked after it. Pretty cool, huh? Every day when she had helped her mother carry water and collect firewood, she would run off to be with the horses. She stayed with them in the meadows, but was careful never to go beyond sight of home. One hot day when the sun was overhead, she felt sleepy. She spread her blanket and lay down. It was nice to hear the horses eating and moving slowly among the flowers. Soon... She fell asleep. A faint rumble of distant thunder did not awaken her. Angry clouds began to roll across the sky with lightning flashing in the darkness beneath. But the fresh breeze and scent of rain made her sleep soundly. Boy, she's sleeping. Shh, she's tired. Suddenly there was a flash of lightning, a crash and rumbling which shook the earth. The girl leapt up to her feet in fright. Everything was awake. Horses were rearing up on their hind legs and snorting in terror. She grabbed a horse's mane and jumped on his back. Whoa, that looks scary, huh? In an instant, the herd was galloping away like the wind. She called to the horses to stop, but her voice was lost to the thunder. Nothing could stop them. She hugged her horse's neck with her fingers twisted into his mane. She clung on, afraid of falling under the drumming hooves. Whoa! They're taken off like the wind. They're scared. Why are they scared? Do you know why they're scared? Oh, poor horses. The horses galloped faster and faster, pursued by the thunder and lightning. They swept like a brown flood across the hills and through valleys. Fear drove them on and on, leaving their familiar grazing grounds far behind. At last, 
the storm disappeared over the horizon. The tired horses slowed and then stopped and rested. Stars came out and the moon shone over hills the girl had never seen before. She knew they were lost. Oh no, what's going to happen? See, there she is. Oh my goodness. Let's find out what happens next. Next morning, she was awakened by a loud neighing. A beautiful spotted stallion was prancing to and fro in front of her, stomping his hooves and shaking his mane. He was strong and proud and more handsome than any horse she'd ever dreamed of. He told her that he was the leader of all the wild horses who roamed the hills. He welcomed her to live with them. She was glad, and all her horses lifted their heads and neighed joyfully, happy to be free with the wild horses. Oh, isn't that beautiful? The people searched everywhere for the girl and the vanished horses. They were nowhere to be found. But a year later, two hunters rode into the hills with the wild, where the wild horses lived. When they climbed a hill and looked over the top, they saw the wild horses led by the beautiful spotted stallion. Beside him rode the girl leading a colt. They called out to her. She waved back. But the stallion quickly drove her away with all his horses. But what does that mean? Oh my goodness, let's find out. The hunters galloped home and told what they had seen. The men mounted their fastest horses and set out at once. It was a long chase. The stallion defended the girl and the colt. He circled round and round them so that the riders could not get near. They tried to catch him with ropes, but he dodged them. He had no fear. His eyes shone like cold stars. He snorted and his hooves struck as fast as lightning. The riders admired his courage. They might never have caught the girl except her horse stumbled and she fell. Oh, no. Do you think she's hurt? Oh, my goodness. Oh, let's find out. She was glad to see her parents, and they thought she would be happy to be home again, but they soon saw she was sad and missed the colt and the wild horses. Each evening, as the sun went down, people would hear the stallion neighing up here, see? Sadly, from the hilltop above the village, calling for her to come back. The days passed. Her parents knew that the girl was lonely. She became ill and the doctors could do nothing to help her. They asked what would make her well again. I love to run with wild horses, she answered. They are my relatives. If you let me go back to them, I shall be happy forevermore. Oh, are they going to let her go? Would you let her go? Her parents loved her and agreed that she should go back to live with the wild horses. They gave her a beautiful dress and the best horse in the village to ride. The spotted stallion led his wild horses down from the hills. The people gave them fine things to wear, colorful blankets and decorated saddles. They painted designs on their bodies and tied eagle feathers and ribbons in their manes and tails. In return, the girl gave the colt to her parents. Everyone was joyful. Oh, that was nice. Oh, that was so nice. Once again, the girl rode beside the spotted stallion. They were proud and happy together. But she did not forget her people. Each year she would come back and she always brought her parents a colt. Aw, look at that. And then one year she did not return and was never seen again. But the hunters next saw the wild horses there galloped beside the mighty stallion, a beautiful mare, with a mane and tail floating like wispy clouds about her. They said the girl had surely become one of the wild horses at last. Today, we are still glad to remember that we have relatives among the horse people, and it gives us joy to see the wild horses running free. Our thoughts fly with them. Oh, that's so nice. Oh. Ooh. A Navajo song about his horse. Shall I read it? I don't think you want me to sing it, so I'm just going to read it. It says, My horse has a hoof like striped a gate. His fetlock is like a fine eagle plume. His legs are like quick lightning. My horse's body is like an eagle plumed arrow. My horse has a tail like a trailing black cloud. His mane is made of short rainbows. My horse's ears are made of round corn. 
My horse's eyes are made of big stars. My horse's teeth are made of white shell. The long rainbow in his is in his mouth for a bridle, and with it I guide him. That's kind of cool, huh? And here's another one. It says, Black Elk in Ogala Sioux had a dream in which he heard a stallion sing a song. My horse is prancing, they are coming. My horse is neighing, they are coming. Prancing, they are coming. All over the universe they come. They will dance. May you behold them. A horse nation, they will dance. May you behold them. The end. Wow, what'd you think? Did you like it? Did you like the girl that liked the wild horses? See? Did you like it? If you do, make sure you give Mimi a thumbs up. That was kind of cool. Do you think she really turned into a horse in the end? Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Now, don't forget, if you want Mammy to read a special book for you, then make sure your mommy and daddy or whoever emails me at mammyscorner at gmail.com. That's mammyscorner at gmail.com. So, we have come to the end of our book reading. Who loves you? God loves you. That's right. Who else loves you? Mammy loves you. Shh. But Mammy loves you bestest. Until next time, my littles, be good and be kind.